Hey, Falcon fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into today's video. We're going to jump into a full breakdown of every single one of the now 20 undrafted free agents the Atlanta Falcons have signed following the 2021 NFL Draft. Now, again, this is up to date as of today, Tuesday, May 4th in the morning. They could sign more people later on, but these are the 20 guys they've officially signed as of now who are going to be competing for roster spots, right? There's no guarantee that any undrafted free agent ends up making the roster. A lot of them will be practice squad guys, and a lot will be cut during training camp or at the end of training camp, but every single team, every single year tend to have a couple of undrafted free agents who turn out to be decent role players and eventually, you know, potentially a star here or there. So we're going to break down all the guys who they've signed so far and talk about their you know, prospect of making the final roster. Let's jump into my first group here. We'll give the first five of running back, wide receiver, and tight ends. Your offensive skill players, they assigned five of them. Javion Hawkins out of Louisville probably has the best chance of making the roster. We'll talk about him in just a couple of minutes. Caleb Huntley is the other running back they have signed out of Ball State. He's an Atlanta native, so he's obviously used to the ATL. A bigger back, more of a goal line running back, 5'10", 225 pounds-ish is kind of his size frame. He's going to be competing with Quadri Allison, the former draft pick two years ago who did nothing at running back, has done nothing at running back except for a couple of goal line plays. And so Huntley can, I guess, have a chance to beat him out because it's a very, very clear spot on the roster for the goal line running back. And while it should be Allison, I guess Huntley's going to be there for some competition. Antonio Nunn, the wide receiver out of Buffalo. Austin Trummel, the wide receiver out of Rice, more of a slot guy. Both have a very long shot of them actually making the roster based on the guys who are already there, like Russell Gage and Alamos de Zacchaeus, as well as Frank Darby, who they signed, or sorry, they drafted in the seventh round the, over the weekend. And then tight end John Rain out of Northwestern, who I guess can be in competition for the tight end spot, although even with not exercising the Hayden Hurst option, you know, drafting Kyle Pitts mains, it's probably going to be a long shot for Rain to go ahead and make the final roster. Back to Javion Hawkins. To me, out of all of the undrafted free agents they have signed, he has the best chance of actually making the final 53-man roster, right? A lot of these guys can be practice squad guys, and you, know, you get 10, 12, 13, whatever the number is. You get a lot of practice squad guys. Hawkins fills a very clear need that the Atlanta Falcons haven't really addressed this offseason. Like, I guess Mike Davis is going to be the number one running back, which is, I mean... Sure, maybe he's going to be good. He's very excited to be in Atlanta. He tweets about being in Atlanta all the time. It's at the Hawks game a couple of nights ago. But they need another running back. And I don't know if it's going to be Hawkins. I don't know if it's going to be Allison. It's going to be somebody else. But I think Hawkins has a very real chance to go ahead and be a, a probably a third running back on this depth chart and could even go as high as the second running back, depending on what Quadri, Quadri Allison does uh, from his current spot on the depth chart. So Hawkins is my favorite to go ahead and make the roster and one of the more interesting signings they have had so far from an offensive skill player perspective. Let's move on here to the offensive line guys they went ahead and signed, and they signed a lot. And this thing to me, to me says uh, very clearly that they are not going to have a situation where someone gets hurt in the starting offensive line and they don't have bodies behind them. Matt Ryan, one of the most sacked quarterbacks of the past five years in the National Football League, but a lot of that due to the offensive line. There's a very clear camp battle that is brewing between a lot of the starters, which means there's going to be a lot of guys battling for backup spots, and these are your names, right? Ryan Nuzeal, is how you say his name, the App, the app State guard, who's going to be you know, in play for the swing guard, guard uh, position. Jack Batho out of South Dakota to School of Mines, which is a very I mean, how many South Dakota School of Mines football players do you know? I mean, not not a lot. So congrats to Jack. He's a monster, though. Six foot seven, 315 pounds, going to be in play for the swing tackle position. I bet he has a chance to go ahead and make the roster. Bryce Hargrove out of Pitt. This guy probably should have been drafted. He was probably going to be a sixth or a seventh round guy. He gets one of the better chances as well to go ahead and make the final roster. Struggles a little bit with his hand and uh, body coordination in terms of stopping pass rushers on the outside. I think he has a shot, though, to go ahead and make the final roster, at least a practice squad spot, a spot because they were very excited that Hargrove was there as an undrafted free agent instead of actually being drafted in the sixth or seventh round. Joe Schoolthorpe out of NC State. These guys got fun names, right? we got to learn how to say them all. Is another offensive lineman they signed. And then Keon Smith, the tackle out of Fayetteville. State, a college I did not know existed, but apparently they have a football program and someone got, you know, is an Atlanta Falcon today. So congratulations to all these guys. But again, I think Hargrove and uh, probably Batho have the two big biggest chances to go ahead and make the final roster. Let me go back to the NFL draft really quickly. Who is your favorite draft pick the Falcons had? Like, is, is, it, is it just clearly Kyle Pitts? Is it somebody else? Let me know who your favorite Falcons draft pick was down below in the comment section right now. Mine was not Kyle Pitts. Mine was actually Richie Grant, uh, who I think has a very, 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 very good chance of being a really good safety in the National Football League. The fact they got him out of UCF in the second round is fantastic. I talked about that in a previous video. But who is your favorite Falcons draft pick? Let me know down below right now. Now, now, just because I like Grant doesn't mean I wouldn't pick up this brand new Cal Pitts jersey, which is really 
I mean, sweet looking. Number eight from a tight end spot. The new number changes are fun. You can pick up your official Kyle Pitts jersey right now. Chatsports.com forward slash Pitts. These are the official NFL Nike jerseys, too. I guess this is not the, the, the knockoff Chinese stuff you get off eBay or whatever. This is the real deal. Go ahead and pick one up. Men's, women's, kids' sizes, you know, all different sizes as well. And you can rep Kyle Pitts, who hopefully is going to be a staple in the ATL for many, many years to come. You know, we don't have any idea, but he's supposed to be really, really good from a tight end perspective. So pick up your Kyle Pitts jerseys at Chatsports.com forward slash Pitts right now. Let's move on here to uh, the only quarterback they signed, and it's one that you will recognize, especially if you're an Atlanta fan. It is Felipe Franks, the former, I guess, UF quarterback, as well as the former Arkansas quarterback. He is an unrestricted free or undrafted free agent signing. Not drafted, wasn't expected to, but rolls in here behind A.J. McCarron, the newly signed backup or the recently signed backup who will compete for... I guess the backup quarterback job with A.J. McCarron. You'd expect McCarron to go ahead and win this job, a lot more experience, but Franks is in the Matt Ryan mold, and so you bring him in, you at least have some competition there in another camp arm, which is what they needed because they, of course, let go of Matt Schaub in the offseason. Matt Schaub retired. So Franks goes into a an interesting quarterback depth chart and was the only quarterback they added in the draft process, not from drafting him, just from the draft process overall, after many expected them to go ahead and take a quarterback at some point in the NFL draft. They chose not to, and so your quarterback depth chart will be Matt Ryan, A.J. McCarron, and then Felipe Franks. All right, we'll go over the defensive line here. They got four of them, starting with Eli Howard out of Texas Tech. He was a walk-on player who is... I mean, he's he's long and he's lengthy. I think he's kind of a dark horse roster guy, but he's played six years of college football. So maybe that helps him out. Maybe that means he's a little bit not as fresh as you'd like a rookie to go ahead and be. But keep an eye on Elijah Howard because the defensive line depth chart is extremely thin, as we all know, in the ATL. Alani Putatua out of Adams State. I think I said his last name correctly. Another defensive line signing. Zach Daw out of BYU. And then Kobe Jones. He's interesting. He's the Mississippi State 3-4 defensive end. Very quick on the outside. He'd fit the scheme pretty well, what they're trying to go ahead and do in Atlanta. I look for Howard and Jones to be the two guys from the defensive line. Uh, Underrupted free agent signings that might have a shot to go ahead and be practice squad guys or at least make the final 53-man roster. Uh, speaking of that, do you guys think there are any underrupted free agents that you've seen so far that will make the roster in 2021? If you do, type Y down below for yes. If you don't, type N down below for no. I've already said, I think Javion Hawkins is going to be your best shot to go ahead and make the final roster. Not a practice squad. Actually make the roster, but if there's somebody else you think can make the roster, type Y down below for yes. If not, type N down below for no. Okay, final group here. This is our DBs and linebackers. They've signed a couple from each position group. Uh, the JR Pace, the cornerback out of Northwestern, has been added. Dwayne Johnson Jr., now, he's not the rock, but he's still a very physical safety who I think can be a for sure special teams guy, maybe a gunner running down on the outside. They, of course, drafted a safety in the second round, as we talked about with Grant out of UCF, but they added another one with their undrafted free agent pick. Errol Thompson is a linebacker out of Mississippi State. Dorian Etheridge out of Louisville, also he signed a teammate of Javion Hawkins. And finally, Marcus Murphy out of Mississippi State, another safety who's kind of the opposite of Dwayne Johnson in terms of the fact that he's not a great tackler, and that's why he fell in the draft. I mean, terrible at tackling, but very good in coverage, and so you get Johnson, who's a heavy hitter and not so great in coverage. And then you get Marcus Murphy, who is great in coverage, but not so good at hitting. And that makes up. I mean, that's it. That's those are the 20 guys now who are going to be competing for backup and rotational and even practice squad spots on the Atlanta Falcons. And if they sign more, then obviously we'll go ahead and keep breaking it down. Like I said, make sure you guys are subscribed to the Atlanta Falcons Today channels. We're trying to grow into the greatest Atlanta Falcons channel on YouTube, right? We're going to slowly go ahead and work our way to 2,000 subscribers and then go beyond. So if you like these videos and you want to go ahead and subscribe, it'll help us make more videos for you guys to go ahead and enjoy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this full breakdown here on Atlanta Falcons Today. Plenty more videos upcoming in the coming days and weeks. And of course, they sign more people. They make any sort of traits. They do anything regarding the Atlanta Falcons. We will cover it here and get you guys up to date. So hit that red subscribe button down below and also go ahead and click the notification bell because that helps us out as well in terms of letting you guys know when we drop the latest videos. Ultimate for today here on Atlanta Falcons Today, I'm Thomas Mott signing off for the rest of your day.